Now that your child has logged on, they need to go to the cheese grater and click on that. Then they need to click onto classroom. And that should take them to Google Classroom. And as you can see, there's several classrooms that they've been invited to join. They have all the specialist classrooms. So they've got sport, music, art, and French. And they've also got their main um, class classroom. And you will know the, the, their main classroom by seeing their class teacher's name written at the top. And in this case, I have Mrs. Phillips, which is 2KP. So your child needs to click on that. And then that brings them to this interface, which has stream, classwork, and people at the top as the three tabs. We are currently in stream. And within this platform, this is where all the class announcements happen. So as a class teacher, your class teacher will then post announcements here. Um, in this case, um, I've already had contact from a child in my class that said, hello, Mrs. Phillips and then I, I was able to respond back. Your child can take part in this conversation within uh, stream. So in this case, with permission from this child's parent, I will type a message. And so they can send this message but it's worth knowing that these messages are public messages, so they're not private messages, so the rest of the class can see them. So basically, stream is where all the announcements happen, and this is where you get um, sort of the class news. The middle tab is the one that your child will interact with the most, which has all the topics. So within this, there's maths, English, topic, spelling homework, these topics will be dependent on year group, so they might be different from year group to year group, but the general format are the same. You will find them here, and they will evolve as the term um, unfolds. In this case, I, I have maths, English topic, spelling, and home, spelling homework, but some year groups have, instead of just having topic, they might have science, and then they might also have a topic one. So your child can then if they wanted to do some, some maths, they would have to click on maths. Within maths, um, the teachers can share resources in several ways. They can share a PowerPoint that's either, that either has a voiceover, that it might have voice notes and, and clips or videos embedded. And these slides will explain an area of learning and then these will be supported with um, videos that children can download and use, and there might also be links to useful educational websites. Within that, there's um, a task as well that children can then engage and interact with. This is through Google Forms, so your child can click here. And once they've clicked on that Google form, it's taken them to the page. And then again, there will be the instructions at the top. So hi 2P, use your knowledge of number bonds to work these problems out. So then your child can proceed to answer the questions. These are multiple choice questions, but there's other the form there's other formats of the form which can allow for children to answer in sentences as well, or a combination of sentences as well as multiple choice. So I'll proceed and answer for this child. And I will choose on purpose a wrong answer, just so you can see at the end. So once your child has finished answering, then they, they need to submit the form and at the bottom there's a button that says submit so they have to submit so that the teacher can then be notified that your child has finished a task once they've submitted they have the option of viewing the score 
So I've clicked on that and if you remember I said I, I purposefully got one wrong. So you can see that the score comes up as 9 out of 10. And that's what the child can see and that's what the teacher can see. Nobody else can see these scores. It's between the teacher and your child. And once that's done, you can then go to the top, close them, and that takes you back to classwork. And then your child can then move on to do some English. And then they can follow the same procedures by clicking on the materials that have been posted by the teacher, whether they're videos or whether they're um, documents that they can type on straight away. It could be through Word document or it could be Google Forms. And then once that's done, they will submit what they need to submit and then they would move on to the next uh, topic. And so really, that's, that's it. If we then move on to people, this is where you see the staff that the teachers that uh, that manage the, your your child's Google Classroom, and then the, your your child's classmates, and and that's it. Thank you very much.